how's it going Mike here welcome back to Mojo Group today I have a review video for you so I was sent a headset an aviation headset from a company called wireless spider wireless sorry so it's called spider wireless it's a very affordable and entry-level headset and I thought I would be flying today that's why I brought it here with me to review it properly uh, but I'm gonna show you what's in the package first. Hey guys, it comes in a carrying case, which is neat. Now I should say the price of this thing, it's really an entry level uh, headset. It costs only a hundred bucks, okay? When I was training, I had to get a, a similar headset, uh, but this seemed to come with a, a little bit more features than the one I had, and I paid a hundred bucks for that on Amazon. But here we are. Uh, material wise, Nothing too shabby. Uh, one thing you want to look for, first of all, is the your comfort level because this thin, once it clamps on your head on long flights, it can get uncomfortable. That's one of the reasons why I switched to a Bose because it has spring instead of like metal clamps like this. And as you see here, you can always adjust uh, based on the size of your head or your hair. You can always adjust the uh, position of this. But to me, what I'm looking at mostly is this, how comfortable it's going to be. I'm going to wear this in a minute. So you've got the headset. This is the name of the company, Spider Wireless. And you've got your audio jacks uh, at the end. Now, a lot of times when you use uh, two different headsets in an airplane, you might have some radio frequency or some noise uh, attached to it so we're also going to test that today another cool thing that this headset comes with is an auxiliary jack so for example if you wanted to listen to music or whatever uh, while you're flying you can use an auxiliary jack to do that all right so without wasting any more of your time let's go ahead and plug this in and just see what it sounds like how do i turn my volume on from the um so i think this is the passenger volume Oh, you're not hearing me? Right? Ah, now I hear you. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, welcome back. So, here I have my friend Chris. We're in this airplane. Chris from A1. Uh, thanks so much for doing this. You're welcome, Mike. So, right now, as you can see, I have my uh, Spider Wireless headset plugged in. The, my first impression really is the comfort level. Again, these are clamps, kind of like springs that you have in a Bose headset. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, they they wear well on my head, but the more you wear them, more uh, more it, it expands. Also, uh, how hard are you hearing? I'm hearing fine, but uh, every now and then it gets cut, cutting out. It's probably the position of your mic. And uh, just uh, make sure, okay. probably the cord is not long enough, maybe. How about now? That's better. Yeah, it is in and out. Yeah. Okay, so the the hearing part is perfect, but um, the audio cuts in and out. All in all, I would say, I would give this 7 and a half out of 10. So 7.5 out of 10. In terms of money value, though, I think, for 100 bucks, you can't go wrong. Uh, again, this is so, guys, as you can tell, we seem to have some technical difficulties here uh, with the audio going in and out. Now, this is not to say that the headset has uh, this particular issue because this can actually be caused by other different things. It could be the audio jack directly from the aircraft. Also, in some cases where you have two different headsets uh, plugged in, you may have some radio signals cutting in and out like that. But um, if I were to speak on the comfort and features of this headset, I think it's a great bargain. Uh, comfort level, like I said, these are clamps. So depending on how long you wear them for, they do start to expand as you wear them. Uh, but also everybody's comfort level is different. Um, but if you're a student pilot, this is perfect for training. You don't need to spend a ton of money buying premium headsets. When I was a student pilot, I used entry headsets like this and I I paid roughly around the same price. You can get them anywhere from $100 to $300. 
and I think for the price you pay for the Spider Wireless, you will get your money's worth uh, because it does perform uh, the features and it functions well in terms of exactly what you need, which is to be able to hear properly and be able to talk to the radio uh, properly. Okay, so you guys let me know what you think, uh, especially if you're a student pilot or uh, you do have one of these entry-level headsets. Let me know what your experience has been. Uh, as for the Spider Wireless, I do think it's a, it's a good buy. You guys can use the link below if you're interested and buying one and do let me know your actual experience if you've ever used this headset before again right now we're testing in a Grumman Tiger uh, it could act differently with the audio in a different aircraft but it's hard to uh, for me to isolate the issue right now but let me know what you think guys again it's been awesome spending time with you thank you so much for watching and until next video guys I'll catch you on the next one